Hey everybody, Legion here. Hope you all had a great September. Picked up lots of great vinyl. And looking forward to a great month in October because it's Halloween. And that means that all the awesome cool makeup is now in the store. So I'll be able to stock my uh, my makeup bag. And um, especially on November 1st, that's when I can really hit it when everything gets marked down to 50% off. Anyway, what I wanted to show you this week is some of my 7-inch vinyl. Some of my um, quote-unquote... Uh, more collectible pieces and um, we're clenched for time tonight so we're gonna just get right to it this is um, you don't own me Leslie Gore with the uh, the mercury jacket sadly she passed away uh, this year so other hits included it's Ju uh, Judy's turn to cry and um, it's my party and I'll cry if I want to uh, this is a pink label Decca of Patsy Klein, and um, the track is called I'm Blue Again, I believe, and uh, the flip side here has got a lot of rhythm in my soul. This was more of a country track, and this one was more of a rock and roll track. Uh, this was 1958. Elvis had been on the scene two years, so things were changing, um, and so, you know, the country artists were adapting a little bit. Uh, Pink Label Decca's only went to radio, um, so if they pressed 100,000 copies, only 1,000 of those were probably on the Pink Label. 99, the other 99,000 were on the Black Label with the silver ink that we're all familiar with. So anyway, so these are fun to have, these Pink Labels. This is the uh, Bobby Benton there, I've said it again. Uh, this is on Epic. I picked this up for 50 cents, so... Good enough. This is the original The Twist on Parkway by Chubby Checker. Um, this is a great piece to have. Um, there's lots of reissues of this one, but as far as I know, this one is the earliest. Um, so, I'd love to have this one. I'll just take it out. You can see it. Most of these are in average condition. Um, you know, some are nice, really, really clean. Some are average. They all play just fine, though. They all sound great. Better than the re <laughs> better than the digital remixes that we've been listening to for the last 25 years. Believe me. Um, hearing these songs on vinyl, the original pressings, uh, it's like you're hearing them for the first time, to be honest. This is a whole lot of shaking going on. Uh, Jerry Lee Lewis on the Sun label. Great stuff here. Paid nine bucks for this one. Um, it's not in the best of condition, but just to say I have an original son, Jerry Lee Lewis, was worth nine bucks. This is Donna by Richie Valens on the Delphi label. I don't know if this is a first pressing because I've seen other Delphi labels that are slightly different than this. Um, and this is, uh, on the flip side, is La Bamba. So, once again, another great classic that um, everybody knows and loves. Glad to have this one. Tommy James and the Shondells, although this is just Tommy James. This is Ball and Chain on Roulette with the company Sleeve. And uh, I'll tell you a little, these sleeves, actually, company sleeves from the 50s and 60s, and even some from the 70s. Um, are just about as collectible as the records themselves. Good paper sleeves in good condition um, from the period are, like I said, they weren't meant to last. Nobody expected, you know, nobody's going to save a piece of paper that was holding a record that cost 30 cents. So those are just as valuable as the records in some cases. Uh, this is Ray Charles, You Don't Own Me. This came off his album, Modern Sounds and Country and Western Music. Um, which is a great album. Um, that'll be in one of my future videos, I'm sure. Love Ray Charles. Have a lot of his stuff on vinyl, 7-inch and on 12-inch. This is the Harper Valley PTA by Ricky Page on the Spy label. The original uh, version of this song. Great stuff. <clears throat> oh, here we go. This is Joe Bennett and the Sparkle Tones with Black Slacks, 1958 on ABC Paramount with the jacket. Um, this is a great tune. Um, what can I tell you about? There's so many bands that had one or two hits in the 1950s and 60s and just slipped away. And you turn on you know, the oldie station 
And they're not playing any of this stuff. They're not playing Joe Bennett and the Sparkle Tones. A lot of great bands. Um, the Eldorados, a lot of Northern Soul. Uh, there's just so much great stuff that's not being played anymore. And that's a shame. So this is a great tune, 1958. In fact, I think I'll put a link to this particular one under uh, in the description, and you can check this one out. There we go. This is Run Around Sue from Dion on the Laurie label. Do not have the company sleeve, although they did have them. Um, so that, uh, there you go, another one that we all know. This is my special angel, Bobby Helms on DECA. Uh, so you are, let's see, I can't sing. I'm not supposed to sing on these, okay, yeah. <clears throat> Clyde McFadder, just to hold my hand, or just to hold your hand. Atlantic Records, just a white label promo, went to radio stations, and um, if you're wondering who the hell Clyde McFadder is, he was the original singer of The Drifters, uh, and then went on to a solo career uh, before alcohol and bad behavior took him down, sadly. Got, got some 12-inch albums from him as well. Uh, here we go. Choice stuff. That's Domino, Blueberry Hill, original pressing on Imperial with the jacket, 1956. And for those of you cringing on that I'm keeping this in the paper sleeve that is loaded with acid um, and is damaging it by the second, um, it's only for this video. Usually these are kept in white acid-free sleeves, and then this paper sleeve is put in, and then it's all covered in plastic. And But just for the purposes of this video, you can see how it looked back in the day. Sugar Shack by uh, Jimmy Glimmer and the Fireballs. Remember that song? Okay, I'm not going to sing it. Original uh, company jacket, Dot Records. Adam Wade, the writing on the wall. This is on Coed Records. This is another one that you don't hear anymore. You know, Nobody's playing Adam Wade. Nobody's playing Roy Hamilton. Um, nobody's playing Nancy Wilson. Nobody's playing Pat Suzuki. Nobody's playing Julie London. I could go on. Anyway, great vocalist, Adam Wade. Look him up and check him out. This is Frankie Avalon, A Miracle on Chancellor. This is a, a white label promo, only went to radio. The flip side is Don't Let Me Stand in Your Way, which I believe was covered by the Stray Cats and Brian Setzer not too long ago. Anyway. It's great. Frankie Avalon sounds fantastic on the original vinyl. Forget that remix digital crap. This thing sounds amazing. So, there you go. All right. Another classic. That'll be the day on Brunswick. This is The Crickets. Notice it doesn't say Buddy Holly and The Crickets. It just says The Crickets. Um, yeah, this is a classic, man. You, we all know the track. Uh once again, the paper sleeve, almost as valuable as the, particularly labels like Brunswick. They, they didn't, you know, they, there's lots of DECA sleeves, uh, but Brunswick is a smaller label. It's harder to get those. Buddy Holly and the Crickets, that'll be the day. Love, love, love the fact that I have this. And one more over here, we'll be done in a minute after we show you. This is DECA Rock Around the Clock. There's been some uh, recent debate on if this is a first pressing or not. Uh, according to Discogs, the picture is a picture of this one. And it says under there, 1954, Decorec, blah, blah, blah. But apparently it's actually 1955. Um, that's okay. It's still awesome. Um, I can get a 54. So I'll find one and get one and I'll have them both. And I'll have one to put on the wall and one to spin. Bill Haley and the Comets. Did I forget to mention that? Rock Around the Clock, which was the sound, which didn't do well initially. Uh, actually, when it came out in 54, it was not a big hit until they used it for the soundtrack opening sequence of um, the movie Black Boy Jungle. And then in 1955, it took off. And they pressed a whole bunch more. And uh, also used for the first season of Happy Days, if you remember that show from the 1970s, until they actually wrote the Happy Days theme. All right, my friends, that's it, that's all. It's short, it's fast. Like I said, I'm pressed for time this week. Um, what can I tell you? It's going to be a great October. I'm going to buy a bunch of great vinyl. I'm going to show it to you. So, and um, until then, 
you know what you need to do? Turn up the music, turn down the drama. Have a great, great week, and I'll see you all again soon.